following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Everybody. Welcome to another edition of the J&J Toy Giants YouTube channel Toy Unboxing. I am your host, JD. My name is Jaden. And as I said before, Happy New Year. And thank you so very much for everyone who's supported the channel uh, through the year 2021. And now we are in 2022. What better way to start it off than uh, getting like uh, free toys? Yeah, we love free toys, right, Jaden? Yeah. And so if you remember... A couple of videos we've done over the years in 2020, and I think, yeah, mostly in 2020, yeah. that was the last time we received anything. But Mattel actually has a program that you can actually sign up to review their products. And we've actually been doing that, if you remember um, the, oh, the oh, Andrade I and the remember. Selena. Yeah, for, so wait, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to collect Barbies, and they sent me two Barbies. So they've sent him some Barbie stuff, they've sent him the, the Andrade and Selena, which oh, yeah. we, and it, then, it's funny, because we actually uh, reviewed that in a pool <laughs> yeah, uh, during the summer. That was so funny. Uh, we also did the uh, the Mega Constructs, but that was actually sent by Mattel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the, that big, huge wrecking ring. Oh, yeah, the wrecking uh, with ring. The, with the cage. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, they, uh, from time to time, you can actually sign up and they will send you uh, some free products for you to review. And then you post it to their website so that they can make sure that the, um, you know, get some information on whether or not these toys are doing well. So with that being said, uh, I'm actually excited to this because I've, uh, you know, being part of the toy community and the actual, uh, like the Fig Cave Facebook group, a lot of people have been talking about these figures that are coming out. Um, and so we're going to be going over the WWE Superstars line that actually is taking place of the WWE Masters of the WWE Universe line, which is no longer. I think the last wave that they did was... Oh, I remember! The they Junkyard Dog that did Sergeant Slaughter. No, 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 no. The last one was Stone Cold Steve Austin, China, and Goldberg. And that was the last one that they did. Um, what which, about um, those um, Masters of the Universe? Yeah, they um, also have the, the Junkyard Dog, the Sergeant Slaughter, the Brett the Hitman Heart, and well, who, else? who else? Oh, who else? oh they have the... Oh, and Rey Mysterio. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. There was the last two lines, and I haven't seen them come to the, uh, the stores yet. But this actually, this line is actually taking uh, in place of the Masters of the WWE Universe line. Now... For those who grew up in the 80s, such as myself, uh, may kind of like get a little bit of a nostalgia as far as like these figures are concerned because these are in the style of the old Remco, um, AWA Remco figures. So I'm going to put a, a picture up on the screen so you guys can remember, or uh, you know, basically see what they looked like back in the 80s. So they're basically almost kind of like the style of this uh, we got Hollywood Hulk Hogan is what they actually uh, sent us. But if you can see on the back, they got Honky Tonk Man, Ric Flair, and then the Bray Wyatt uh, character that he did for like a Halloween special of like the Mad Hatter. So you can see, check that out. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So basically, it's Hollywood Hulk Hogan when you're NWO, you're NWO for life. But we're going to go ahead and unbox this. Uh, it comes with some soft goods and uh, an accessory. So we're going to do like we always do. We're going to let, let them breathe. breathe. So we got it all unboxed. Uh, this is the Superstars, WWE Superstars line, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And so right out of the box, it does come with some accessories, obviously some soft goods. Uh, he has his weight belt, the Hollywood uh, weight belt that he has, his uh, bandana um, that can be taken off. As he is bald and comes with some glasses and what else it comes with? Um it comes with the belt, so like here's the belt. And the NWO belt. Yeah, and also um comes with some I, 
extra hands. I actually noticed something on the back what? that if you see Rick Flair, my dad actually has Rick Flair, but he has different ones. I have the Ultimate Edition Rick Flair, which I also did a video uh, unboxing about a few months back in the summertime. So, um, obviously, uh, like I said before, these are in the styles of the AWA Remco's because during the, that time in the 80s, the AWA Remco's and the Masters of the Universe line had a similar um, molds. So, obviously, the huge uh, muscular arms. And if you were to take off his shirt, you can see that, you know, he's ripped, you know, on, um, so if you were to take his shirt off, you can see the... Uh, you know, the actual mold of his chest it was supposed to be like super, super muscular. I mean, I don't even know, uh, not even Arnold Schwarzenegger was like the, had the best body in the world uh, back in the day uh, would ever have this type of a, kind of like a body. I mean, that's just a little over the top, he's asked me, but you know, that's just the way that the actual mold uh, was back in the day. Everything was big, muscular type stuff in the 80s. All right, so of course, uh, if you were to put on the NWO belt, you will have to uh, take off his weight belt that says Hollywood on it. Uh, but definitely, you know, it does fit fairly snug. And the actual articulation, obviously, you got um, a lot of articulations on the arms and on the head. You don't really have a lot of it. You know, it goes up, down, left, right. But pretty much this is... Uh, if you remember the AWA Remco style, it's pretty much this, like a carbon copy of what it looked like before. And I think that's what Mattel was going for, uh, not only for the nostalgia factor, but it's a different type of style figure as far as like what they look like, you know, the, uh, the musculature, you know, type arms and stuff like that. But Hulk Hogan was, well, not in this particular iteration, I mean, in the 80s. Uh, Hulk Hogan was a massive, massive dude. Uh, he was very, very healthy. Even though, like in the later 90s, when he was in WCW, when he was older, he still had a really rocking body. Uh, you know, always worked out. Um, was a, a real big, uh, you know, into fitness and uh, working out. What do you think about the, this particular figure? Uh, yes, yeah, so actually, something to let you know about this. So if you compare it to the one that Hulk Hogan um, it's almost a, a scale to yeah, the like Playmates uh, Ninja Turtles. So then it'd be like you can move, right? The same thing. Yeah, almost, almost scale to the Playmates, yeah. But there's the the, uh, the WWE Superstar uh, line are slightly bigger um, in height. Uh, but they pretty much have the same kind of spread um, spread on the actual legs, the way you move them, and how to be able to stand them. Now, this one actually stands pretty well, but obviously if you want to put them on a stand, I believe they do have, yeah, you can put them on a stand as well. So what I like about this is how you can, like, actually take most of this stuff off, right? Like, you can take Yeah, you can off. take you can take the, the shirt off, which is the soft goods, the bandana, uh -huh. uh, his, his weight belt. Obviously, I said before, the weight belt. And obviously, you can be able to put them in a ring. I, I don't, I didn't hear anything about a ring coming out. I'm assuming at that point, if the line does well, because they only have one, um, one line out or one series. I, I did hear something about a series two that's going to have like Scott Hall from the NWO on it. But if it does do well, obviously, they're going to be able to do more where you're going to be able to get a ring and, and display these um so actually mattel you know what you should do with these you should actually make two packs of them fighting right like two packs of yeah them. i'm sure if they yeah, did like, if they did uh if they did well if this yeah. line does well they can do a two pack where you know you can it have comes with, uh like a, a like a a ring and then two Kind of like the showdown yeah. line with Mattel where they have the two people and then they have like the, maybe you could do a ring. Um, pieces to the ring yeah. or something like that. Pieces to the ring? Yeah. But other than that, I mean, it, I like it. I mean, it, for those who, like I said, for 
this this market I believe that they're going to is for those who remember the AWA Remco style and the uh, Master of the Universe, um, you know, fans out there because obviously the molds are, as I iterated before, the molds are very similar. But uh, hoping that the newer generation of figure collectors will be able to take a liking to this as well. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Um, definitely, a kid can definitely play with these fairly easily. Um, so thank you so very much for Mattel for allowing us to be able to review this. I know this is um, uh, this was actually not in stores as of yet. I've seen them around people who pre-ordered them, but I have not seen them in stores as of yet. So I'm not sure exactly when they're going to be releasing these in stores. I know with uh, Walmart, they've been having some issues distribution-wise to be able to get new stuff in. Um, although I, when I went to Walmart, the, what, did, what, didn't Walmart have like no toys? Oh there yeah, the every time I went to Target, Walmart, GameStop, even like here on Hideout, they never actually had most stuff after the Friday, remember? Yeah, well, After Heroes Christmas. Hideout always has stuff, but like the newer stuff, like new yeah, stuff. Like, they, because of Christmas, uh -huh. obviously they just passed. They haven't had a lot, a lot of new stuff come in. But I know I, I went the day after Christmas, um, and it was it was a ghost town in this way. Um, you know what we should do? We should um say what we think of the new figures that are coming out in the future, right? Yeah, I'm sure that uh, Mattel, I know Mattel uh, has been doing a lot of research as far as like uh, bringing some new stuff out. Like I said, the retros are coming back. I know that they're, you have to pre-order them from Mattel Creations to get the three pack of uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, uh, Mean Gene Oberlin, and Cowboy Bob Orton. And then hopefully they'll start putting them stuff in the stores. But as you can see, this actually, the tan, <laughs> real quick. Everybody knows Hulk Hogan for his, you know, awesome tan, which I know that they did this really well. Because Hulk Hogan or Hollywood Hulk Hogan is as tan as they come. Now you can see the strap here. I kind of left that in there because it came out of the, the box like that to kind of keep the, the glasses together. So I'm not messing with that. I'll probably just leave that there. But you can see the Hulk Hogan stubble uh, under the, the handlebar mustache and stuff like that. Well, I like this figure a lot. It's really cool. You actually can compare it with the other Hulk Hogan? Yeah, this is the Hulk Hogan from the Hasbro uh, line. Yeah. And this is what he used to look like in the 80s. And then this is what he uh, looked like in the 90s. Uh, WCW, like 97-ish Hulk Hogan. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. When the whole NWO Monday Night War started. Uh, yeah, so pretty much that is all that we need to talk about this figure. All right, so that does it for this edition of the j, &J Toy Giants YouTube channel, Toy Unboxing. Again, I'm your host, JD. My name is Jaden. Be sure to like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and also follow us on... TikTok. And we are now on Twitch. So be sure to find us on Twitch, j, &J Toy Giants. You're gonna see the, uh, the link in the description. Um, actually, no, you're going to see the name, the username of our uh, Twitch uh, feed. So definitely, you can see it. We, we've been streaming the last few weeks uh, since the holiday season started. But uh, yeah, definitely, we wanted to start to do that more and more. Thank you so very much for Mattel for giving us this opportunity to review this toy. Hopefully, we'll be able to get more. Um, it's been a while since we got it. Uh -huh. I'm sure they got a lot of people that are trying to get out to, to do reviews. Uh, but definitely if you do a Mattel Creations, look at their reviews on some of the other uh, products that they have. But thank you so very much. Do you have anything to add before we uh, um, send these people off? So I want to say TikTok don't stop. TikTok you don't stop. Yeah, they, they definitely check us out on TikTok. We had a lot of brand new uh, TikToks that we did uh, the last few days. But thank you so very much. Be sure to be safe and have a happy new year. Happy 2022. See you later. Bye. Bye. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the New World Order.